Hey, welcome to my channel. This is Modest Sisters and my name is Oileen. Today we're talking about a spring, spring 2021. The time this is approaching is the time when we are going to be allowed out of lockdown. I certainly won't be jumping into society too tough, too early, too quick, too enthusiastic, but it's nice to know that we are going to be allowed out, you know? And so for me, I thought I'd do a video what spring means to me in such a time as this. And then obviously from a fashion point of view, what spring means to me and what are some of the pieces that I love, some of the things I love about spring. And that is what this video is all about. Now, this channel, if this is your first time here, welcome. We talk all things fashion, styling, inspos, reviewing, unboxings, lifestyle, vlogs, etc. All that good stuff. So if that's your thing, definitely consider sticking around. Because it's spring, it means new things in terms of just starting over, rebirthing. Um, and I do not mean going out to go shopping. No, what I, what I mean is just a new way to style yourself in terms of perhaps borrowing pieces from your wardrobe that are from other seasons and mixing and matching. You know, naturally, nature is just blooming and we bloom in fashion too. <laughs> so definitely means a freshness, it means just new. Mixing and matching colors is definitely something that I would be doing and I would do in spring because especially talking on pastel colors, they're so buildable and that's one thing you love you've got to love about pastel colors they are so buildable and they are fun they're fun to look at they're fun to play with they actually surprise you in terms of how things work together how they turn out things colors you don't you don't expect to work well together they do because they're pastel colors because they're buildable and then when you choose to style particular jewelry particular accessories it just brings everything together and it works and that is something definitely I love about spring because it carries pastel colors so so well if you are not a fan of light colors and you prefer your colors a bit more darker or muted not so bright perhaps because of just preference or the work you do or because you think it's not practical to have light colors in your wardrobe you definitely can borrow colors that are a bit stronger than pastel colors and build with color blocking and that is also a look and that creates such a cool vibe as well and that is something that i will be doing because it's fun again it's fun it's really pleasant to look at and it just it just drives a lot of energy out of you you the observer and you the wearer you definitely have a good time wearing bright colors and color blocking and all of that stuff if you are very comfortable don't hesitate to add texture to everything that i've just said to all of the above add texture if you can texture or pattern pattern will just put that dimension in there that just says i have styled myself for me texture means a bit of fur on a jumper texture means a bit of a stitched pattern on tops or even 3d printed florals on a skirt or on a dress pattern can be simple check checked materials or boxed line to stripes on trousers or tops or anything like that i don't wear a lot of jackets in this video because i feel like because it's spring you can get away with so much in terms of not wearing jackets and and, and coats layering the art of layering but not layering to your suffocation so you layer in such a pleasant and light way and that means sleeveless jumpers it means jumpers and nothing else and you know the green jumper that i had on with blue jeans and blue shoes they were all very simple pieces when they've been put together they look really nice the jumper stands out because it's furry and it has shoulder detail and the neck you could do so much with that in terms of putting jewelry and all of that i said in my previous video i'm not great in the jewelry department currently and it's something i'm trying to work on but if you have jewelry you can definitely layer with that sort of jumper bracelets bangles whatever that's your thing and rings you can definitely do that your bags are a great way to bring everything together my choice of shoes with the jeans were quite bright and that's because it's just adding 
layers of contrast in everything in in the whole outfit sorry you've got green you've got blue and then you've got a bright blue it was actually a sky blue suede kitten hill shoe again kitten hill because platform bringing you up putting your posture in a particular way pointed toe to just elongate those petite legs like mine and then you've got your jeans which are just bog standard high rate high rise um high waisted jeans and your jumper with a belt and that's pretty much it it's such a practical look but it's fun and it is refreshing because of the colors and that's what i'm trying to say spring is really pretty much all about colors and how you take it to the next level is your texture and your patterns and your accessories because it's overlapping with summer to some degree it means that we're getting more sunshine uh, there's just happiness in the air you get to enjoy accessories such as sunglasses and that's what you see a lot of i love sunglasses i love sunglasses if there's one thing that i will happily splurge on any amount at this rate and that's a very dangerous statement and i'm controlling myself i love sunglasses i will buy sunglasses like I don't have a lot right now i have what i need but i can see myself definitely in years to come i'm going to have quite a collection what i'm trying to say now is this point is basically all about uh, accessories when it comes to spring because the sun is coming out more often for me it means i can wear sunglasses and enjoy them because the sun is actually out i feel great i look great and accessories as well such as jewelry uh, obviously because they're more visible because a lot more of your skin is out and just belt belts and your type of shoes because you can get away with shoes that are perhaps not so covered up because you know you're trying to cover from the cold you can wear heels you can probably wear sandals as well particularly certain sandals and have your toes out a little bit more uh, because it's getting warmer when i talk about layering and when i talk about pattern now i think what represents this quite well is this outfit that i have on i love this outfit i think it just sums up my idea of spring in terms of what you can get away with you're still wearing a jumper you're still wearing trousers so your legs are all covered i chose to style this particular look with trainers you can style it however you wish but i just wanted to show you how cool and easy it can be jumpers trousers they're not even tight fitted they're very loose so practical and there is pattern in there and there's print in there as well the texture is very subtle in the sense that it's coming from the jumper but that belt as well is there to talk about accessories to break the colors because they're all quite busy but silent individual pieces when what brings them together is your accessories that belt is just kind of molding everything together in a very subtle way for me and the trainers are just there to just complete everything without being too intrusive i love this type of styling i think it's important to be practical i think it's important to be very comfortable and i think it's important to represent how you want to feel and how you want to approach your life in general and for me this is it just looking great looking put together but being comfortable and looking very confident and well styled and very intentional and then on top of that i'm staying true to the season you know with my colors with my patterns with my textures etc and of course with my sunglasses because i love sunglasses <laughs> you know i hope you get what i mean but definitely in your wardrobe looking to see the colors there what can you build together what can you borrow from other seasons you know look at your shoes it doesn't always have to be heels it doesn't always have to be open shoes that are maybe cold you can wear pencils you can wear trainers i suggest definitely if you're going to introduce pattern and print at the top part of your body keep your shoes simple if you can or vice versa that is pretty much all for this video and i think i've definitely let it all out i'm probably going to do a lot more styling towards spring and all of that so definitely stay tuned and consider subscribing if that is your thing and if you want to see more or other types of content let me know comment below and let me know or also dm me i'm on instagram i post quite frequently on instagram and uh, yeah until next time, enjoy your week and stay safe out there. Bye!